Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. In this video, we're going to talk about how to boost your processor performance and make your entire computer run faster. If your system has been feeling slow, if it's lagging when you try to use applications, or if you're struggling to get better FPS while gaming, this guide is for you. We're gonna go through some simple but effective steps that can really help improve the responsiveness and speed of your PC. To get started, go to the search bar on your computer and type power. Click on choose a power plan when it shows up in the results. Once you're inside the choose a power plan menu, it will open up the classic control panel view of your power plans. Here, you'll see a section where you can choose or customize a power plan. On the right side of your selected plan, there will be a link that says change plan settings. Click on it and then look for change advanced power settings. When you open this new window, you'll see a variety of options to fine tune how your PC uses power. At this point, it's important to make sure that you're using a plan that prioritizes performance. You might see options like balanced, high performance, or ultimate performance if your system supports it. Even if you only have the balanced or high performance options, select one of those rather than power saver. I recommend high performance for most users, as it will prioritize your CPU performance over energy savings. Once you select your plan, scroll through the advanced settings until you find processor power management. Click the plus sign to expand it, and you'll see minimum processor state. Make sure this is set to 0%. Setting it to zero allows your processor to go all the way down to its idle state when it's not needed, saving power without hurting performance under load. Then, look at the maximum processor state and make sure it's set to 100%. This ensures your CPU will use its full capability when necessary. After you've adjusted all these settings, click Apply and then OK to save your changes. Once you've finished with the power plan adjustments, there's one last step that's just as important. Go back to your desktop, right click the start button, and choose Task Manager. When Task Manager opens, click on the Startup tab. This is where you'll see all the applications that automatically launch when you turn on your computer. Now this is a crucial step. Look through the list carefully and identify any unnecessary or unwanted applications that you don't need running at startup. For each one, right-click and choose Disable. Don't worry, disabling them at startup doesn't remove them from your system or make them unusable. You can still open and use them anytime you want. It simply means they won't automatically load every time you boot up your computer, which can significantly reduce the time it takes for your PC to start and free up resources for other tasks. Be cautious here. Avoid disabling important things like your security software, graphics card utilities, or any Intel services you're unsure about. If you see something you don't recognize, it's always a good idea to look it up online before deciding to disable it. For example, I know what Cortana is, and I don't want it running automatically, so I just disable it from this list. You might have many more apps in your startup list than I do, so take a little time to go through them carefully. Once you've cleaned up your startup items, go ahead and restart your computer. After the reboot, you should notice an improvement in overall speed and responsiveness. Your system should boot up faster, use resources more efficiently, and deliver better performance in games and other demanding tasks. I'd love to hear how these changes work out for you. Please let me know in the comments if you noticed a difference or if you have any questions or concerns. I'm always happy to help you troubleshoot and get the most out of your PC. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips and guides. 
Thanks so much for watching and have a truly wonderful day.